So now that we took a look at what the first two strategies look like in action, the final thing you need to remember is to pace yourself. Remember, on the PSAT, you don't get more points for answering difficult questions. All the questions are worth the same amount of points. So it doesn't matter if you answer the easy ones first. It's a smart thing to do. The final thing to remember when you're taking not only the PSAT, but any standardized test, is that you actually save a lot of time if you answer a block of questions and then you bubble in. Answer a block of questions and then bubble in. Now, what do I mean by that? If you're sitting there and you're doing a lot of math calculations and then you stop, you put your answer booklet down, you rearrange on your really small desk and then you pick up your test booklet and you bubble it in and then you do the whole thing over again, it actually takes a lot of time. And while it may seem like it doesn't, that time really adds up. So on each section, you could lose two to three minutes by just going back and forth between your test booklet and your answer sheet. So what you should do is you should answer five to six questions in your test booklet then pull out your bubble sheet and then bubble in five to six questions. Not only will you save time, but you'll also reduce the risk of bubbling incorrectly, which means that if you bubble incorrectly, you'll have to go back and erase your whole answer sheet and then rebubble. It's not a fun thing and you don't wanna do it. So in short, remember these three test taking strategies, eliminating answers, guessing strategically, and pacing yourself, and you'll do much better when you sit down and actually take the PSAT. Mm -hmm.